What's popping, world? You know I just Theodore talked on him. It's your boy, Marshall Hugh, the Martial Law Band. Check out our episode, episode 619. Who else you know with 619 episodes? That's why I had to pull up on my boys and give them their flowers. Yeah. Okay, listen to the episode and give us our flowers, y'all. It's about time. So the album 12th and Pine is representative of our time that we spent at the protest playing for the people. And, and this um, is the, the, in the depth of 2020. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and so when you hear, no, I don't need CNN or Fox News. I need truth. That's a actual bar driven from real life because we saw ourselves represented on CNN and we saw how they used all the clickbait. They didn't use any of the unifying material that we gave. We gave them. And then we saw ourselves represented on Fox News where they called me Chaz Marshall of Antifa. They didn't even, they didn't Don't know my, questions. right. They yeah. didn't know my name was Marshall. They thought I was like a Marshall of Antifa. So, but that being said, so we saw ourselves depicted. Oh, like you were the Fox. Marshall. Like that I was a hilarious. Marshall. Of Antifa. Exactly. Wow. I thought you was a terrorist. Yeah, no, that, and they put my name out there like that. My face out there like that what? and everything in between. They, right? they, did you like Raz Simone? Absolutely. They, <laughs> it, like, he, this he, is real stuff. He had a know? little bit of a different approach. Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk about that in another episode. <laughs> you know, you gotta, have, you gotta bring him here to, uh, you know, yeah. say how he was depicted about how I personally was depicted. You know, you look, it's like, okay, over here, CNN, they didn't tell the truth. Fox News, they were way off, but they didn't tell the truth either. So the truth really lied somewhere in the middle. And that's why we try to use our art to bridge that gap and to really show people like the powers in the people, the people in the streets. Wow. We brought their policies all down to their knees. And like yeah. another really impactful line on there is like, um, but yeah, you got options when your platform is popping, chop, chop. Uh, talking about the chop zone, right, right. your edits turn our city into Gotham because that's literally yeah, what happened. You know, yeah. it, the the, the uh, media really hyped it into something that it wasn't supposed to be. Tried to make it more about like riots and negativity when there really was like you guys were playing music. Like because all the times I saw you guys moving, it was like a positive group around. There was there was a few hectic moments here and there, but for the most part, it wasn't driven by like the majority of that that core group you know? a lot of people were just being protective and safe honestly more than violent i worked on the hill at the time so Absolutely. like inevitably i didn't really have a choice i, I was in there regardless like I, I would pull it up you know the first few times just to be there but mm -hmm. but then it was like on a daily like you know my lunch break we just gonna see what's going on <laughs> I, I mean anybody who's out of protest know that everybody has different roles to play right, right, right so right. our role was more of the recharge station was more of uh, providing a platform not only for music and food and water but also for people who aren't comfortable in the middle of a protest with a bullhorn hey you can come onto our stage and preach what you got going on and, and rally people that way and we were kind of more of just like a centering focus point but every every protest has means for all types of people yeah. the more aggressive type people you're gonna catch them in the front doing their thing you know and you and we need it all too you, you need know? all Strategic, types yeah. all types of energy because um they're not gonna listen to you if you're just over there kumbaya uh, but you need that uh you, you need balance of all kinds to make it something that's uh, sustainable and that's what the music was out there for and that's what 12th and pine was all about so and i mean the whole album you guys talk about kind of like the depth of it all too because one of my favorite records is gonna get better you know what i mean absolutely the is, is a real fire one too and i i heard i heard a rumor or something that it was up for a pulitzer ha uh, yes i was it, under it consideration really was. It was for under the consideration. pulitzer for real so not, not, not. one of the craziest things and i think that um this speaks hand in hand in what we're trying to accomplish is there's a big uh, bridge in knowledge and a big gap in understanding of things like Pulitzer, things like Grammy, right? right. So actually in order to get <laughs> for Pulitzer, you have to apply, you have to get accepted through that application. You have to have the $150 uh, application fee in order for that to happen. So right. there is like an application process and everything else. So when you think of like, a Pulitzer, you think it's like this, like crazy unattainable thing when really it's a process like anything else or like, you know, getting a Grammy, you need two nominations for going, people going that to are in a recording. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, we we're under a consideration for it. Unfortunately, we lost, but hey, I'm, I'm a, pre I'm just a present being considered. You, hey, you, 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 you know <laughs> what? I'm chipping my way is, out is of you, in itself, so, what, what, Why I'm really excited to have you on here too and to talk about stuff is because, you know, you my dog, so we have our own candid conversations, but I feel like it is, it's nice to shed a light on those conversations because those are the type of things that someone will whisper about. Because just like Daniel would compliment that, would be like, man, this is great that you did that. Those are the type of things someone would be like, well, how and why? And for you to be just so transparent about the right, process right, and everything right. that's going on, yeah, you know what I mean? It just shows a lot. Of, it, it's a lot it speaks a lot to your character. You Especially know as people of color, right? It's that's, humbling, yo, for real. 
doesn't let you that no one's gonna let you know that you feel me kendrick yeah. lamar isn't gonna go up there and let everybody know you yeah know, I, part, I paid 150 the label you know he yeah. submitted me and that's how i got out yeah, a little bit part of the veil and you know i think that so often platforms are so used to using artists in order to promote their mm -hmm. agenda yeah, whenever yeah. an artist flipped the script and understands some loopholes and jumps right, in, right. and they use that platform to promote what we got going on which is the truth and literally coming from the streets into the booth mm -hmm. and that people are naturally gonna be like whoa 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 that's not how it's supposed to work but i don't follow rules family right no i feel you i'm not with that honoring the humor <laughs> i do what i do and and let the chips fall where they may no that 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 is i think there's a difference between people that follow the people and then people that follow the rules right. because yeah. people that's because because